char siu pork, the delicious, porky, and yummy Cantonese dish. Now, normally you cook this thing in an oven, but truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of that. Char siu is made with pork shoulder, which is a tough piece of meat. And if you don't know what you're doing, it can come out really tough and dry. And at that point, you might as well pour soy sauce on a shoe and eat it. So to show you a better way, let me show you how to make char siu pork with a sous vide. Before we begin, if you hear any background noise, uh, my neighbors are throwing a party, which I wasn't invited to. Eh, more pork for me. Speaking of which, let's get started on the marinade. Add one cup of soy sauce. One cup of Shaoxing cooking wine. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. Three quarters cup of hoisin sauce. Two teaspoons of oyster sauce. Add five cloves of garlic minced. Eh, uh, sorry, I wasn't speaking clearly into the mic for this one. One teaspoon of Chinese five spice. And now for the super Chinese ingredients. Fermented bean curd. It gives our marinade an extra depth of flavor. And well, I wanna show some love towards the Chinese. I mean, it's been a rough couple of years for them, even when Chinese people themselves are doing the oppressing. Anyway, enough politics. Add two cubes of fermented bean curd to our marinade. Then add one tablespoon of the juice. Then let's add half a teaspoon of MSG. And no, it's not gonna give you a headache. Man up. Okay, that might've been more than half a teaspoon, but meh, I'll live. Give everything a good whisking. Let's give everything a good taste test. A little bit more five spice. And a little bit more hoisin sauce. But as you can tell by our marinade, it's not red. It's looking like the toilet bowl at Wingstop after midnight. So let's add a few drops of red food coloring to color it up. And now for the start of the show, pork. Four to six pounds of pork shoulder cut into logs like this. All right, now place that bag in a bowl because the zip top bag I originally stored the pork in sprung a leak and now I got raw pork juice all over my fridge. Now using a ladle, let's transfer half our marinade to our pork. All right, let's massage it around. Now let's transfer the remainder of our marinade to a Tupperware box. Cut! And now here comes the hard part, letting our pork marinate overnight in the fridge. I know some of you are shedding some tears right now, but the thing is the pork I used in last week's episode was barely flavorful. The marinade only penetrated the surface. And if you want the marinade to penetrate deep into the meat, like a flavorful shiatsu massage, then you're gonna have to let it go overnight. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. Okay, it's the next day. Our pork is nice and marinated. And all we have to do is just place it into a plastic tub with a sous vide machine. Uh, set your sous vide machine for 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Is your invasion of Ukraine so poorly thought out that your own soldiers are turning on their generals by murdering them with their own tanks? The number you're looking for is 68 degrees Celsius. All right, once this comes up to temp, let this go for eight hours, six minimum. All right, it's been hours and our pork should be done cooking. 
And uh, let me unplug this without electrocuting myself. And using a pair of tongs, carefully transfer them to a cooling rack lined baking sheet. You want proof the sous vide method works? Yeah. Here's your proof right here. No, no, we're not done yet. We need to add a glaze. So in a bowl, add one cup of honey. Then let's add four tablespoons of our leftover marinade. Next, grab yourself a brush and paint on our glaze. All right, next step, turn on your oven's broiler to high. Place our pork in the middle of our oven. Let it caramelize for three to five minutes, depending on your broiler. Okay, after three to five minutes, take them out. Put on another coat of our glaze. Back in the oven it goes. Let it go for another three minutes. Okay, once they get a nice bit of char on the top, Flip them over with a pair of tongs. Give the back side a nice coat of glaze. And shove it back in for another three minutes. All right, and give everything one final coat of our glaze. And let it go for three final minutes. Okay, once it cools down a bit, chop it into large chunky slices like this. And serve it over rice. Or just have it by itself because I forgot to make a batch of rice. And if you don't believe the sous vide method works, well, let's just cut to the slow motion juice cam. See you day in post production, take it away. Thanks, Path Me. Let's head to the instant replay to learn more. Now, when you use a sous vide machine, all the juices are forced to stay in the meat, leading to a nice, juicy final product. Back to you, Path CRJ. Thanks, post-production me. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh no, don't worry. This is a nice clean shoe. I just bought this yesterday.